Hi everyone, I'm Tan Yong Xiang with the metry number 277758. Good day everyone, I'm Tibet Tarshin Selvan and my metric number is 277762. We are from group 3 and we would like to talk about sightseeing in Malaysia. Let's start from the capital of Malaysia which is Kuala Lumpur, also known as KL. This place is a well-known tourist spot because of the beauty of building, nature and also culture. First of all, KL is a great for sightseeing from Petronas Twin Tower, which is the tallest twin structure in the world. This tower has 88 stars with a sky bridge. This place also includes Kuala Lumpur Convention Center and Surya KLCC Mall, and not to forget about their well-maintained KLCC Park. The second place is the Manara KL Tower. This tower offers a spectacular view of the city from the height of 276 meters, which is much higher than the Petronas Skybridge viewpoint. We were able to spot towers glistening spindle-like apex from anywhere in the KL. The tower is famous for the tallest freestanding revolving restaurant, epicenter, cascading pool and fast food places and gift shops. Not to forget about our century-old temple with 272 steps. Yes, I'm talking about the Bati Cave, which is probably one of the most popular tourist spot in KL, which is consists of three big caves and not numerous smaller caves. There's also an art gallery cave and museum cave with the statues as well as ancient paintings. Penang is a state of Malaysia located on the northwest coast of Peninsula Malaysia, adjacent to the Strait of Malacca. It is connected by the Penang Bridge and the Sultan Abdul Halim Muadam Shah Bridge. Throughout history, the state welcomed some of the most influential figures, including Lee Kuan Yew and Prince Charles. Penang is known for its rich heritage and architecture, vibrant multicultural society, a wide range of modern entertainment and retail option, natural landscapes such as hills and the world famous Penang Crescent. Penang Hill is a mountain resort consisting of a group of peaks on the island of Penang, Malaysia. It is located on the outskirts of Aitam, 9 km west of downtown Georgetown. Pingling Hill is also known by the Malay names Bukit Bandera, which actually refers to the most developed mountain Flagstaff Hill, which is also a very well-known tourist attraction in the local area. Next, Kailoxi is the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia. The complex is divided into three areas, and the temple grounds include mountain entrances, souvenir food store, and the turtle liberation ponds. In the middle of the temple, there are temples, garden, pangoda, and the pavilions of the four heavenly kings. At the same time, there is a huge granite statue on the top of the mountain for worshippers, as well as more gardens and photographing buildings. The next place I'm going to explore is the southern tip of our Malaysia Peninsula, which is Johor Bahru. All that comes to our mind when we talk about JB is the Legoland. Yes. The Legoland is the most attractive place at JB. This place has some 40 different types of rides that youngsters love to give a try. This place also has a water park, bumper cars, as well as the laser quest mask. This place is such an adventurous place, isn't it? Other than this, we also have some attractive and peaceful place like Old Chinese Temple. This temple was built in honor of five deities venerated by the Chinese community and this is the one of the oldest religious buildings in the city. Next place I'm going to talk about is the Sultan Abu Bakar State Mosque. The interior of this mosque is covered by the white marble with pretty blend of quaint Victorian design features mixed with Mauritius motif. Also, the mosque accommodated some 2,000 worshippers at one time. Now, we will set off for Kuala Selangor. Kuala Selangor is a town in Kuala Selangor district, Selangor, Malaysia. The name of Kuala Selangor means estuary of the Selangor River. Kuala Selangor was the capital of the Sultanate of Selangor in the early 18th century. It moved to Kuala Langa in 19th century and then to Klang. Although Kuala Selangor is only a small town, it has many famous attractions. For example, Kampung Kuantan is famous for a firefly. 
In addition, there is a view that there are only two places in the world where you can see the magical firefly. One of them is in Kampong Kuantan. The adventure in the firefly region began in the early 1970s when a local businessman saw the business potential of this miracle. It is said that making a wish after seeing the fireflies can be realized quickly. Next, Bukit Melawati. As a historical place, Bukit Melawati has several remnants from the past that appear to those interested in its history. A few leftover cannons and foundation stone at Trevisister here for their historical values of Bukit Melawati. A part of being a historical site, being at the top of the hills gives you an excellent panoramic view of the Selangor coastline. You will be able to see the strike of Melaka on a clear day or barks in the warmth of a sunset on a clear evening. Some fishing settlements are within views at wells. The Bukit Malawati is also home to the silver leaf monkey and the long tail macaws. You can purchase pinna from vendor around the area at Bukit Malawati and feed the monkey. Although the silver leaf monkey is generally quite gentle, visitors are advised to be cautious with the long tails maka as they can be highly mischievous. Just be careful when feeding them as they are considered wild creatures and can be dangerous when provoked. In addition, at the foot of the mountain is Kuala Selangor Nature Park, also known as Taman Alam. The park is a protected area of tropical rainforest and swamp forest. The park is managed by the Malaysian Nature Lovers Association to ensure that the natural environment of the park is not damaged by any habitats. If we are lucky, we can see many different seasonal animals such as migratory birds, peacocks, hornbill, and so on. They are all temporarily staying here because of the seasonal changes. Next, we're moving to the Trail of Kedah. Yes, I'm going to talk about the best sightseeing in Langkawi. According to the folklore, Langkawi's name came from the two words, which is Kelang means eagle and Kawi means reddish brown. Hence, it is sounds like Langkawi. Let's explore the first place which is Langkawi Sky Bridge. This bridge is a 125 meter long curved pedestrian bridge that offers an exhilarating view of the Vendred Guno Machinchang, Telagu Tuju Waterfall and several islands surrounding Langkawi. This bridge set 700 meters above the sea level. It is only accessible via the final section of the Langkawi cable car ride. This sturdy bridge can accommodate up to 250 people at a time. And this is fitted with double steel railing, an explode with wire mesh and two rectangle platforms where you can enjoy the cool breeze. The second place is Dataran Lang, also known as Eagle Square. A large sculpture of eagle poised to take flight at this place and is located at the southeast corner of Pulau Langkawi. Besides offering beautiful view of Kwa Bay, Dataralang has beautiful miniature fountains, terrace and bridge, making it the ideal place for those postcard perfect holiday photos. The square is a good place to watch ferries flee across the harbour. The third place is Langkawi Cable Car took a special place where a lot of visitors love to do these activities. Once on the top, you can finally enjoy the magnificent view of the surrounding horizon, the island's landscape, the skyline, sea beyond. At the side is a steel bridge subtended across Mount Machinchang and the neighboring mountain. Walking across this bridge is a fantastic experience and offer a different viewpoint of the island and sea towards the north. Now, we will drive to another town for about half an hour. That is Sekinchan. Apart from being a lively fishing village, Sekinchan is also one of the main rice producing areas in Malaysia. The vast, well integrated, the well organized rice fields surrounding Sekinchan are the one of the highest rice production areas in the country. Sukin Chan's fresh seafood also attracts diners from Kuala Lumpur and Ipoh. Not only can you buy fresh seafood, but you can also see golden rice field too. It's a very unique area. Lastly, Arumigu Sri Raja Kaliaman Blast Temple. This temple was the first Hindu building in the world to be made of glass. 
both the interior and exterior are decorated with the glass which make its glitter in the light of sun. You will notice a statue of Chris and Buddha inside even though this is the traditional Hindu building.